Hey, Cynthia. All right. So uh, this question right here is a little tricky. I've gotten quite a bit of questions on this one. So the question that you sent me was, um, at the beginning of a walk, Roberto and Juanita are 3.3 miles apart. If they leave at the same time and walk in the same direction, Roberto will overtake Juanita in 11 hours. If they walk towards each other, they meet in one hour. What are their speeds? Okay. Now, meaning that um, they, le they leave at the same time going in the same direction, but they leave in different areas. They, they leave from different locations. Okay. So basically, um, let's see, kind of reading this real quick. Juanita has a head start on Roberto, but the thing is, Roberto just walks a whole lot faster than Juanita. All right. So that's essentially what this problem is telling us. So um, same direction, same time. Now think about it. As Juanita walks, Roberto is closing the distance between him and Juanita because Roberto is getting faster as time goes on, okay? So he's walking faster, and Juanita just doesn't walk near as fast, okay? So he's closing the distance between him and uh, Juanita. So same direction, same time. Now, that's going to play a lot whenever we actually set up the system of equations. Now, talking about Roberto and Juanita, okay, same direction, same time, we have no idea what their speeds are. So we're going to label Roberto's speed as x and Juanita's speed as y. Now the thing is, we don't necessarily know the time, but we do know that they overtake each other 11 hours from now. So the time in this case would be 11 hours, or just 11 for both of them. All right, that's actually when 11 hours after, after they leave, that's when they actually meet up, okay? Now the distance. Now the distance for Roberto and Juanita comes from the distance formula, D equals RT. That's your motion formula. So from here, distance is rate times time, or your speed times time. So in this case, it would be x times 11, or in this case, 11x. Now same thing for Juanita, y times 11, or just 11y. All right? So now that we set up the tables, that's half the battle right there. The other half when they walk towards each other. Now we know if they walk towards each other, they meet up in one hour, okay? So we still don't know their speed. We still don't know their rate, so Roberto's speed is gonna be x, and Juanita's speed is gonna be y. Now the time that they meet up, the, how long it takes for them to meet up, is one hour. So it's just gonna be one for both of them. Now, the distance, just like we did on the first one, rate times time. So it'll be x times one, which would just be x, or 1x if you want to be a little bit more specific. And also, too, for Juanita, y times 1, or just y. All right? Now, here's where it gets really fun, because now you're going to have to start setting up the system of equations from these tables. Now, when you set up the system of equations, you have to be really careful, like especially on this one right here, because... Same direction, same time, meaning that Roberto is going to start getting closer and closer and closer to Juanita, meaning that he's going to close the gap between Juanita and himself. So when you set up the equation, we're going to look at just the distances. Okay. Now let me kind of go back to the problem real quick. And they say they are 3.3 miles apart. So for this problem, remember, he's going to close the distance, Roberto is going to close the distance between him and Juanita. So in this case, it would be 11x minus 11y equals 3.3. Okay, so we're going to take the distance between Roberto and Juanita. We're going to take the difference of the distances, and that's equal to 3.3 miles. Now, if they're walking towards each other, that's actually not too bad. That's a little bit easier to comprehend than this one. Because as they walk towards each other, yeah, they're, they're both closing the gap between each other, but they are walking towards each other, meaning that um, you would actually just add the distances between the two. Okay? Especially if they're walking the same directions and they're walking closer together, both of them are closing the gap. Also, too, if they're both closing the gap, both negatives, two negatives make a positive. There we go. So in this case, you would take the distance for Roberto plus the distance for Juanita, and that should equal 3.3 miles again. All right? So now when we go and solve this system of equations, 
we can actually use either the substitution method or we can use the elimination method, whichever one you prefer. Personally, I would choose the elimination method because I can already kind of foresee something canceling out whenever I do elimination. In other words, if I take this bottom equation and I multiply everything in this bottom equation by a positive 11, well, when I do that, that means 11 times x would be 11x. I'm a little, running a little short on board space, so I'm going to rewrite it in a little bit. So 11 times x would be 11x. 11 times y would be 11y. And 11 times 3.3, I'm honestly too lazy to do mental math right now, is 36.3. So now, I have a positive 11x plus 11y equals 36.3. So now when I do the elimination method, when I add them up, when I add up my x's, when I add up my y's, and then I add up my numbers, well, 11x plus 11x, well, that gives me 22x. Now, here's the cool thing. Negative 11y plus 11y goes to zero. They cancel out. So these guys, I'm not too worried about anymore. Equals 36.3 plus 3.3. Well, that gets me a 39.6. Okay? So now we have 22x equals a 39.6. So now what we got to do, we got to solve for x. We have to divide both sides by 22. Excuse me. So when we divide those sides by 22, we get an x value of approximately 1.8. So basically what we just found, we just found Roberto's speed. So basically he's going about 1.8 miles an hour, which that's pretty normal for a walking pace. I mean, that's kind of fast, but 1.8 miles an hour, that's pretty legit. So now that we found our x value of 1.8, we can actually go back into our original system of equations. Okay, so let me kind of write this out here. Okay. Let me put the original system back up there like we, like we had just a little bit ago. Now that we figured out x value, we can actually plug that x value into either one of these equations and figure out what our y value is. So naturally, I'm going to plug it into the easiest looking equation. I'm going to plug it into the second one. So that means 1.8 is going to go in place of this x right here. So I'd have 1.8 plus y equals 3.3. So in order to solve for y, I subtract 1.8 on both sides and I obtain a y value of 1.5 miles per hour. All right. So Roberto's speed, x value, is going to be 1.8. Juanita's speed, the y value, is going to be 1.5. And that would be our final answer. Like I said, the hardest part about this problem is not, not just solving the equations but setting up the table and organizing your data and organizing your thoughts, okay? That's, that's always the trickiest part about these kind of problems. So, um, so yeah, definitely let me know if you have any, any more questions about this. I'm happy to help. Um, you know, it's always, it's always fun for me, too. I like this stuff. So, but, yeah, just keep working at it. And now, the problems that are just like this, they work very similar to this, just different numbers, okay? But how you organize it is all the same. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Um, let me know if you get stuck. All right, don't work too hard, okay, guys?